Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Brian the Floridian. So today I'm doing another shave for you guys and I'm going to be using a safety razor that I haven't used in quite some time. So this is the first safety razor that I ever purchased to get to delve into wet shaving or traditional wet shaving. And this, would, this is a razor that uh, catapulted my, my interest in wet shaving. So I'm going to be using this guy, which is the Lord L6 uh, safety razor. Uh, this goes by also, this is called also the L1822 um, 1822 by Lord. So still, th those two names are interchangeable, so basically the same razor. So this is a safety razor, a uh, pretty, pretty low cost uh, razor, and it's a three piece. And it's kind of, not a very, not a very durable construction, but definitely, definitely not too bad, not too bad for its price point. So it's got a chrome uh, Zymac top cap and um, bottom plate and the handle is about four inches long it's aluminum handle so it screws on the uh, bottom plate like this so not a very not a very uh, beautiful razor to look at but definitely definitely a very nice efficient shaver so I'll be using this razor here this is the one that got me in the wet shaving so I'm gonna be using this my shave. The soap I'll be using for my shave is a soap that came out uh, for Big Shave East and it was by South Florida Wet Shavers and it's called Curl Tide. So this is made for South Florida Wet Shavers meetup uh, during the Big Shave East. It was in their swag bag last year. I want to believe in June 2018. So, so definitely a nice soap, nice smelling soap. And this is made by Key Shave Works by the way. So great stuff. And for my blade, of course, I'll be using, of course, a blade, a Lord blade to go with the razor. So this is Lord Platinum blade and just a nice, just a nice all around blade. Uh, this will be the first use of the blade and the razor. And my brush will be the uh, AMAC Big Cypress uh, Silver Tip Badger brush. So this is like a 26 millimeter uh, Badger Badger, uh, silver tip badger, and definitely, definitely love this brush. So, let me go ahead and soak this brush, guys. Let me go ahead and wash my face, and I will be right back. Hello, guys, I'm back. I just took a shower, so my face is pretty hydrated, and I have about, about a day and a half of growth in my face, almost two days worth of growth, growth in my face, so I do have some hair there. So, I got the AMAC 26 millimeter, uh, big cypress brush loaded up with the Coral Tide soap, so. Let me, let's go do that, do that first pass right now. And this is a great, awesome brush. I'm not really a, not really a badger, badger brush. It's not one of my favorite brushes to use, but this one is really, really, really good brush so so this one definitely warrants some use so but I prefer the synthetic brushes for sh wet shaving but this is a very 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 nice brush and it definitely is be becoming one of my favorites to use because it's very soft and has pretty decent backbone for a, a badger brush and the knot itself is enormous look at that big knot So I hope you guys are doing well this weekend. And it looks like us in Florida have dodged another storm out there in the Atlantic. Herberto was, was the name of that storm, the Chuckle Storm. So it looks like it went over the Bahamas and kind of went north. Actually, it was supposed to turn northwest, but actually ended up turning more northeast. So that's good for us and good for the rest of the mainland of the United States. So hopefully the Bahamas didn't get hit very much at all with much rain. 
But definitely, definitely my prayers are with the Baham with the people in the Bahamas with all that destruction and, and devastation right now. Alright, that's a nice ladder. Great, great ladder from uh the Coral Tide soap. Alright, let's go to that first pass right now with the L6 Lord uh Sydney Razor. So I believe this is the very first Sydney Razor I ever purchased, or at least the one of the one of the very first ones I ever purchased. I think I purchased maybe the maybe a super speed uh vintage, vintage super speed first, but this is definitely the first uh modern razor I purchased for wet shaving. Just to try it out and see if I like it or not. But this is just a great, great shaver, very efficient shaver. I wouldn't say it's too mild, but probably mild aggressive. So it's not a very, very aggressive razor, but just a great, great razor just to use every day and experiment, see if you want to try what shaving if you're a newbie. And also for an experienced wet shaver also. I tend to take this razor with me when I, when I go uh, traveling, so it's very inexpensive. I think I paid for this razor probably about, I think it was seven or eight bucks when I bought it from eBay. And I happen to look on eBay and they're still about that same price. So great uh, price point. And you can't beat the head. It's a Merker style head, so you definitely get a great shave. Especially if you're used to uh, the Merker style heads like the 34C, uh, the 23C, or or really any of the, the closed comb uh, Merker heads. All right. So the soap is amazing, nice and slick, as you would expect from Case Shea Works. Uh, let me go ahead and rinse my face, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, back to my second pass here, my second face other. Oops, got a little bit of cream up there. Let me go ahead and wipe that off there. Go ahead and use the big cypress on the face for lathering here. So the scent on this soap is pretty, not too strong, about about a five, and it's like a citrus type scent. I would say, kind of like a maybe like a orange citrus, maybe lemon, kind of like in that category. I don't have the scent notes for this soap, so I can't really read them off to you, but definitely in the citrus. Realm of, realm of uh, scents for a shave soap, but very, very pleasant, very nice. So this is definitely a fruit smelling soap all the way here. If you like that kind of, kind of scent there. So this soap, this uh, Coral Tide, it actually came in the same bag, I mean, at the Big Shave East, the South Florida Big Shave had a, had a swag bag uh, with a t-shirt and a couple of soaps, I believe, maybe three soaps, I can't remember, but they had the Big Shave East soap by uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and this soap was one of the soaps included in the bag, and I love this soap. This is a great, great soap. I love the scent of the soap, so very eager to use the soap. I didn't purchase a swag bag, but I did somehow get the soap because I was really looking forward to trying it out. All right, let me go against the... Cross the grain here. So this soap's this uh, I'm sorry, this razor is called the L6 
L'Oreal 6, but it also goes by the name L1822. So that's the other model number if you're looking for it on eBay or anywhere else on the web. But those two names are pretty much the same. They match. So if you if you see an L1822, it's going to be the L6 or vice versa. So. And just, just a great, great smooth shaver. I highly ever get mixed with this razor. So this is a razor that made me want to try wet shaving even more. And kind of led to my, my rad, my razor acquisition disorder. So I think I purchased other razors since, many other razors since I bought this one. And got in wet shaving. Got a little nick there. I have a little bit of a pimple there, so every time I go across it with the razor, I kind of nick it a little bit. So hopefully, it's not going to be bleeding too much there. Yeah, it's not a very, very solid constructed razor, but definitely with this AMAC uh, top plate and bottom plate and the aluminum handle. It just works, just works great in combination with delivering good shave. All right, so let's go ahead and put a little more soap underneath the, the gills right here. So it's kind of funny to me how they're naming these uh, truckle storms or coming out with the names for these these hurricanes and storms. I mean, Herberto. I mean, I think they're running out of names for these storms. So I wouldn't be surprised if the next one's name uh, Incognito or some other weird name with the I. So that would be a different name because they're you know, basically they're running out. Of, they're basically coming up with names for these storms that aren't reused before. So. All right, guys, that's my second pass. Uh, let me go ahead and rinse my face. Be right back. All right, guys, back to my second, my third pass, actually, uh, which is across, which is against the grain. And I got plenty of silt left in this brush, for sure. Yeah, so this scent strength is very, not very strong on the soap. I would say about a 5 on a scale from 0 to 10. Just a pleasant uh, citrus smell, citrus scent on this soap here. Actually, I would compare this scent to... Uh, the K Shave Works, the one, the one year anniversary soap they, they put out, was, which was 365, that came out a few years ago. That was like, the, I want to say it came out in 2017, but this is very, very similar to that scent on that soap. On the K Shave Works one, uh, one year anniversary soap, 365. So if you don't have this soap, and you have that one or can get a hold of that one. Pretty close for scent, scent strength and scent in general. Or doppelganger, or when I say doppelganger for scent. All right guys, let me go ahead and do that. Against the grain here, the money pass, pass right here. Yeah, so this razor is definitely, um, any friends you have or any family members that are wanting to get into wet shaving are on the fence, and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money for, or they don't want to spend a whole lot of money for a razor, definitely a good razor to get is this Lord L6.
All right, so hopefully everybody's having a good week so far. I've been watching the baseball playoffs, um, hoping that my uh, Timba Bay, but Devil, I'm sorry, Timba Bay, Timba Bay Rays, not Devil Rays, the Rays can make the uh, American League wild card and go to the playoffs. It's been since 2011, I believe, since they made the playoffs last. And I think they have a good, pretty good team, so they have a pretty good shot this year of going, uh, f in my opinion, pretty far in the playoffs. If they can just get that wild card, get that wild card, and hopefully get in front of the Oakland Athletics, the Cleveland Indians, or at least secure one of the two wild cards there. So this is my favorite time of year for baseball, particularly the uh, Timber Bay Rays. And I love the also the fall uh, festivals right now, going on right now. Even though it feels like summer in Florida, it's still, it's still 90 degrees down here. So it doesn't feel like anywhere near like fall down here yet. Because our leaves don't change here. They only change when they when the sun burns the leaves. So that's 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 what I call a Florida fall. So alright guys, let me go just my face. That's the last pass, and I'll be back for the post shave. Alright guys, I'm back for the post shave. So this after shave I'll be using for my shave will be the one that matches the soap. And this is the or South Florida Wet Shaver's Coral Tide, which is made by K Shave Works. So let me give it a good shake here, and uh, ingredients are pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Um, alcohol, witch hazel, aloe vera, rose water, fragrances, glycerin, and a loom. So not a big ingredient list, which which I like. So let's give this a whirl and see what it smells like, what it feels like on the face. Yeah, definitely, definitely a little bit stronger than the soap. Definitely have the citrus type type scent. Kind of smells like a almost like a mixed drink, almost like a margarita or or citrus type mixed drink. But very, very, very nice. Very, just very soothing. Very nice. All right, guys, that's my shave. So my recap: I used this Coral Tide South Florida White Shaver soap. Which was which came out last year in the summer of uh, 2018 at the Big Shave East. So very 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 nice soap, and this is a, a citrus citrus based. I want to say citrus uh, based soap based on the scent. That's what that's what it smells like to me. So definitely a nice citrus uh, soap, and great performance as always by K Shave Works. And I used the L6 razor safety razor. So this is a three-piece razor, as I was saying earlier. So it has the Mercure style head, the Zymac uh, top and bottom plate, and the aluminum handle. So this handle is about four inches long. And the only complaint, that very, 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 very small complaint I have about this razor. I'm sure they, they probably fixed the issue probably recently, but when I bought this back, probably about 10, maybe, you know, six to eight years ago, I can't remember when I bought this, but it was one of my first uh, safety razors that, that I ever bought or tried. Uh, the post isn't long enough, in my opinion, for the handle, so it, it doesn't screw in very, very much. So it's attached, so the threads aren't barely on there, but it does hold the, the top plate and bottom plate just enough to hold it on there and get a good shave. So I think they made the post a little bit longer in the later latest version, so that got rid of that issue because I think a lot of people were complaining about the post not being able to, to, you know, to twist the razor in there and actually have it attached to the handle. So definitely, a very, definitely a very very nice shaver, very very great, very nice shaver in my opinion because I get a nice shave with this razor, and it's very cheap. So just a great razor for taking with you on a travel. If you lose it, 
you know, you're out like eight, what, $70, so you can just get another one of these. Or you just buy a few of them and just keep them in your travel bag. But just a great, great razor. And the Lord Platinum Blade did not disappoint. Just a very, very nice blade, very, very smooth. Not quite the sharpest blade, but just enough sharp and smooth to deliver a great shave. And last but not least, I used the Coral Tide Aftershave. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the shave, just hit like and subscribe. And I will see you guys later, and I'll see you guys next weekend with another shave. And you guys have a safe weekend. Take care.